Born in 2007, Maisha Kana, better known as Maisha, is a young singer and actress who rose to fame after collaborating with Indonesian band Ran on the film soundtrack Kulari Ke Pantai in 2018. She also played in the film and a number of other films such as Dua Garis Biru and Yang Tak Tergantikan. Maisha discovered her love for singing early on. If we look back, the 16-year-old singer frequently posted cover songs on her social media account and YouTube channel. She was signed by Indonesian music label Emotion Entertainment and released her first song under the label Jungkir Bali on March 1st this year. According to Maisha, Jungkir Bali song about a person's feeling who is trying hard to attract the attention of a crush. Unfortunately, all her effort was unrequited. So, how was the process of making the song and what was the inspiration behind it? Let's find out the answers in the upcoming talk show.
welcome to the studio. Welcome to the studio. Please have a seat, yes, Marcia. Okay. Oh my god, <laughs> it was really catchy. Yeah. Thank you so much. You try to longer your hair. Yes. To try to, you know, to get, get his attention. His attention. <laughs> but it's like, okay, it's just a what? It's just a stone. Mm -hmm. She's just a stone. <laughs> just, a what? Yeah, just, just I don't mind with her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, who wrote the lyrics? My Actually, uh, for this song, I worked with two members from the band Juicy Lucy, Kadenis oh, uh, okay. Kaisal, and also okay. from with my ANR from Emotion, Kai Iqbal. Oh, so we wrote okay. the song together. All right, congratulations! Thank you so much. All. Amazing. Yeah. Like, how old are you? I'm 16 years old. Wow. <laughs> Do you remember what you're doing on uh, when you were 16? I was in a room playing video games until 4 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I still do that every now and again in fairness. To, you know, to get permissions to go out yeah. <laughs> from my go. parents. My goodness. Amazing. Congratulations. Your new single. It's called mm -hmm. Jungkir Balik. Yep. Please tell us more about that. Mm -hmm. So actually, I mean, if you translate it in English, Jungkir Balik is kind of like flip or flip. cartwheel or yeah. something like that. It's mm -hmm. like kind of a, a weird title, right. but I think there's so much meaning behind it. Mm -hmm. So honestly, um, Jungkir Balik is actually about when you like someone, you know when you like someone and you uh -huh. would do anything to get their attention? Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, we've all been there. <laughs> I, think, yeah. I think everybody does that. So yeah. basically the song is about that. But then you try everything to get their attention, but they just they just still don't get the hint that you like. Right. Them. Just ignore. Yeah, and they just like don't get the hint. So it's like really frustrating. Right. So basically that's what the song is about. Ow. Is this coming from like personal experience as well? Actually, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, it was actually, it started is from- Is anyone? <laughs> Ignoring you, my <laughs> So, like, actually, from the workshops, we did a lot of workshops together. So, but through that workshop, I actually like started to tell stories about my experiences in life. So that's basically okay. where Junkir Bali came from. Because I mean, this song actually kind of reflects as me as a 16-year-old yeah. who doesn't really have that much love and yeah. relationship experience, right. like just some shallow things yeah. that I experienced. So That's I guess it just cute. represents my love life. Uh, okay. hey, you guys are uh, going to the same community, is it? We did. Yeah, we, did. Uh, we talked about this before, yeah, we, uh, before we went on here. We, we were in a musical theater group called Jakarta Movement Jakarta of Inspiration, okay. or Jakarta Move-In, but we were different um, generations. We were different generations. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 I think, yeah, I think yeah, you yeah. were in... Uh, I was in Musica Uptown, Sherina. Sherina, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, because she's doing acting as well. Yeah, we're going to talk about that later. We, we're definitely going to talk about that later. But first <laughs> yes. of all, we're going to go back to your song, your mm -hmm. new single. Um, you know, obviously, some artists take a uh, couple of days. Other artists take years to mm -hmm. write songs. You know, for this particular single alone, how long did it take you and the producers and the team to create it from start to finish, from scratch, basically? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, like I said before, we did a lot of workshops. And right. actually, the workshop started around... July last year, oh, okay. which is actually almost like seven months okay. since the release. Mm. So it's been a long time. Mm -hmm. So we did workshops and then we did, we tried some demos of the song, we figured out the music and then we did the recording around August last year. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. So actually the process is so long. So I've been like waiting for the song to release for so long that yeah, I'm yeah. so happy it's yeah. finally released. So. Okay. And then we actually shot a music video also for this song mm -hmm. uh, at around November last year, but it's not out yet. It's going to be out next week. Oh wow! Ooh, Can't something wait to look for forward that. to. So basically, Maisha, you work together with the songwriters and the directors as mm -hmm. well. So, uh, what kind of, of contributions that you put into this project? Mm -hmm. So, for this song, mm. um, for, for the recording. I worked with Kakamga. Mm -hmm. He was my vocal director. Okay. okay. Wait, first of all, I would just like to say that I am honestly really, really grateful that I get to work with so many amazing people right. from the music mm -hmm. and film industry, mm -hmm. um, like Kakamga. So for the recording, Kakamga was my vocal director. Okay. And we did, um, well, he really helped, contributed a lot to Junkir Balik. I think he, also actually in the song, he's actually the, background, uh, what do you call the it? Vocal. The background right. vocals. Oh, okay. So I don't know if you could hear it, but honestly with his background vocals, the song just sounds so much better. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. absolutely love it. Uh -huh. And Kakamga, Kakamga helped me a lot with, uh, during the recording. Oh, I nice. see. Okay. But for the music video, I also worked with Kayandi Lore. Oh, yes. Okay. yes. So, so he was here. Mm -hmm. it's he a, was, he was here. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little spoiler because uh, I haven't really like 
told anybody about this yet, so it's like a spoiler. I think this is the first time I'm telling this. Right here, right first here, time guys. on scene today, guys. <laughs> yeah, amazing. And I'm honestly, again, really happy. It's not my first time working with Kayandi. Yeah. I've been in a series, two series with him before. Okay. I'm honestly so grateful because I love his work. Uh, so it's amazing. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have the, the reasons. Yeah, and the yeah. fact that he's the director for my own song, my yeah. own music video, that's just He's, it's crazy. He's amazing. He's amazing. He's absolutely amazing. Right. Yeah. How did you guys get to collaborating? Mm -hmm. How did that come to be? Yeah, because um, I did two series with him before. Right. It was a web series mm -hmm. in um, it's in 2022, I think. Okay. okay. So we did yeah. a couple of projects together. That's why we got to know each other. Okay. Right. And so, with Kamda yeah. as well? Kamda as well. Uh, it's actually my first time mm -hmm. with him. Okay. Junkir Balik here, so it was a new experience for me. Very I nice, cool. very nice because because they have their own background. Yeah. And collaborating mm -hmm. with Maisha, as we know that you are very talented singers. You are still young, but the, your vocal is amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you so uh, much. How do you see yourself? Uh, probably the genre of your music. Genre. Mm -hmm. Actually, if it's my own personal music taste, I honestly love to listen to a little bit of everything. Okay. Because I think. Any type of genre of music is good yeah, as long as yeah. it just sounds right and nice to me. Mm -hmm. And I think I would like apply that same to my music as well. I don't really want to limit my music to any type of genre. I right. mean, if I could, I would maybe like put any type of genre that just sounds nice to me. But for now, I think my music is mostly towards like a bit of pop with a bit of folk and a bit of R&B ish. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got a question for you. If you could try, if you could try experimenting in any kind of genre, what would it be? Like wow. something that's really out there. Honestly, genre, I would really like to try jazz. Okay. Yeah, because nice. I've been yeah, listening yeah, yeah. to some jazz lately, so I really want to try. Actually, who's your uh, jazz singer favorite? Jazz? Um, I listen to. Honestly, it's not really like full on like jazz. The, yeah. But mm -hmm. her music has a lot of jazz, jazz in her music. Touch, right. uh, her name is Olivia Dean, and I really, really. Like okay. her. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. because because we know that a lot of musicians or artists now are trying to do the experimental things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, you know, So with the you know with the country songs and everything, mm, so definitely. And it works. Who knows to see uh, you know the for the future for the Maisha probably she can bring a new uh, you know a new genre in the industry. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Exactly we'll because totally <laughs> because it's, it's very um, we know that uh, Maisha from the uh, from the screen as an actor. And you play uh, in several movies such as Kulari Ke Pantai in 2018? Yeah. So you were... I was 10 years old. Oh my wow. god! Wow! <laughs> I was 10 years old. That's like 7 years ago. Yeah, and you my also goodness. collaborating for the soundtrack, right? Mm -hmm. With uh, with Ran. Mm -hmm. And how is... Um, how was the the transitions? I mean, from the actor, now you are a singer. Mm -hmm. How you describe it? So actually for transition, actually I started off as a singer first. Okay. Oh. And I don't know if anybody knows this yet, but actually when I was little, I've never really thought about going into acting actually. Mm -hmm. Right. So basically mm -hmm. from Musical Petuang and Sherina, mm -hmm. I got to know Omri Riza and Tante Mira and mm -hmm. they um, told me like, how do you call it? They told me if they wanted to, they wanted me to play in a movie, right. mm. their movie. So okay. that's basically where it started from. Because before that, I actually had nothing in mind about being an mm. actress. Okay. Yeah. But after playing Kuari Kapantai, it yeah. just made me love the film industry. Uh -huh. okay. But like for transition, I've always done singing until from then until now. So okay. I, I think it's just the same. Oh wow, mm. very okay. interesting. Very cool. It's cool how you got from just singing to mm. being on stage as a musical performer and then going straight into film and TV. Right. I think that's, wow. That's a different thing. <laughs> yeah, that is really cool. Exactly. Now, obviously, you know, you're still a singer. Mm -hmm. You're also an actress, but you're still a singer. And those kinds of uh, performer, uh, performances, yeah. they're similar, but they're quite different. So how do you mm -hmm. balance your time between singing and acting? And perhaps, which one do you find more challenging? Ooh, honestly, for the challenge, I think both of them are yeah. very challenging in mm -hmm. their own ways. So I can't really choose which mm. one is more challenging mm. because both of them are challenging but really fun for me. Okay. But if I were to balance it, honestly, um, yeah, I think with singing, acting, I mean, what do you call it? Besides singing and acting, right. I also still have school. Yeah. Since I'm 16. Yeah. So, of course. Yeah, I still need to really 
get my time management right. Yeah. There's a lot of things to do. So basically, how do you do it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, to maintain mm -hmm. all of these things, and you have to get together with your friends, mm -hmm. maintain your health, <laughs> your mental yeah. health, yeah. everything. Everything. It's a, it's a... Yeah. Honestly, the thing that I do a lot, not a lot, but I do every day, for me that helps is I just bring like this little notebook everywhere and I just write the things that I have to do in a day. That's yeah. a Honestly, idea. that really yeah. helps me because I think I would be forgetting everything that I do if exactly. I don't write it down yeah. because there's yeah. so much Agreed. things to do and my mind could probably not have the capacity to think about True. it. We so. don't have to, right? Yeah, yeah. that really helps yeah. me. So basically, it's this This is the single. The first single that you drop. First single, year. yeah. The first single that you drop in uh, this year and for the album this year? Probably you have the plan for that? Um, or you already hopefully. have the song? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are, but you have a plan to really. I, I do album. have a plan. So how is the album going to be? Oh, honestly, now it's like That's still in the works. Thing. <laughs> it's still uh -huh. in the works. Okay. Um, because yeah, this is my first single. So we're still working towards there. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's Let's wait and, and see because Definitely. it is worth the wait. Yeah, I am looking forward to it. <laughs> exactly. Are there potentially any mu uh, musicians that you'd like to collaborate with? Wow, that's a really nice question. Honestly, seeing musicians, seeing Indonesian musicians, yeah. watching them, listening yeah. to their music is is the, is the kind of thing that makes me really just want to stay in this music industry. Yeah. I'm really inspired by everybody. So honestly, for collaborations, I'm just really open to collaborating with anyone. Mm -hmm. But I mean, the closest one to me right now is Juicy Lucy since we're in the same label. So I would Lucy, love right. to collaborate yeah. with them one day. Nice. So do you have like top five uh, songs on your playlist from um, Indonesia's uh, music? Mean, uh, Juicy Lucy or? Oh, just Indonesia anything. in general. Indonesia. Wow, honestly, I I love Juicy Lucy. I love to listen to Raisa as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love Nadine Amiza. Mm. Uh, there's so much. Like yeah, I yeah, honestly yeah, couldn't yeah. even think about it. Amazing. Indonesia is really full of talented musicians, of course, aren't they? Because there's a lot of genre so and subgenres. Well. Exactly. And everybody's we have everyone in the studio so, now. Everybody's just so creative True. and like so bold in expressing yes. their music. Yes. It makes me so inspired. I agree. And we have you now, yes. Marta, in the music industry, and we're looking forward for your anything, your project for in music and the acting as well because we love to see more talent. We right? really do, we really do. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's amazing yes. to see. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Uh, what about you, Messi? You want to collaborate with my chef since you guys are been together? <laughs> oh, that's that's true. I don't know. Um <laughs> Why I like not? Me, I like being Why on TV. Not? <laughs> Tell you what, um, the next time you the next time you have a single, we'll be happy to have you come over again. Oh yeah. yes. Talk about the single. Talk about the EP. Any right. further uh, plans you might have with movies and stage? Yeah. Oh yes. Awesome. Once again, thank you, you so much. Maya, congratulations thank you so much. once again. Thank you so much. Looking forward for you to come back here. Yes. To play another songs. Probably your album. Yes. Okay. Yes. For that. All right. Thank you so much for having me here. <laughs> thank you. I had so a great time. You awesome. Too. Amazing. Very nice. All right, guys. We're up for another short break. In the meantime, don't forget to follow our social media accounts if you haven't already. We're on Instagram, X formerly known as Twitter, and YouTube. Our handle is at C Today News. Stay tuned.